Well, hello there. Welcome to an episode of Holly D Live. I'm going to share this like everywhere I can. Um, ooh, I'm going to put it on Facebook. Mm-hmm. We are live. We are live. I'm going to go the whole 45 minutes if I can. If people chime in, I will. I'm not going to do it just to listen to myself talk forever because. That would be something stupid. <laughs> if I don't have guests or input from other people, I'm just like, I mean, yeah, I do stuff. I do some for my therapy, but anyway, okay. I'm going to put. Hold on, you're going to hear a ding because I've got. I'm putting this on Facebook right now. Okay, I fucked that up, so that's chime in. Mm-hmm. Okay. And tag people. Jessica Dixon, Brittany Jones, Jaron Kaminsky, Lucinda, maybe Amanda, maybe Train, Justin... Matthew Britton. Shit. Oh, Jeremy Hibbert, fuck you. Lily, why not? Sarah, why not? Mike Jones, Shannon Clemens, Kelly Kemper, I loved Kelly. Tracy Mills, no. Austin's a piece of shit. Oh, I don't know how the fuck that is. Crystal Little, Chad Puska, Jason Bennett, Jason Jones, Shannon Patrick, Jeff Steele, Ray Jr., uh, Randy Bell, Ashley Brayton, she loves shit like this, James Stewart, didn't I just do James Stewart, Bear, Joe Clark, fuck Kenny Hatfield, but oh well, I appreciate his support, Kenny Hatfield again, Mallory Banks, Danny, at least probably wants to do it. What the fuck is Sammy doing on there? Jamie Edelston, Laura Lewis. Okay. Okay. Thirty-two others. Who can see your post public? Select album. I don't have an album. Oh, I can't believe I'm on right now. Fuck the album. Okay, I'm going to make a podcast real quick. This is hard to do when you're doing it live, too. Podcast. For podcasts. Oh, well, fuck it. Life is public. Post. Okie dokie. <clears throat> I'm going to share it in Messenger. See if we can get some motherfuckers on here. Send. Send. Send, I think Lucinda is asleep. A lot of people are asleep. I do not like to sleep in my older age of 37 years old. I just don't want to sleep anymore. It's just freaking crazy, man. It's just nuts. Anyway, I guess I'm going to get started on this subject of men and women. Um... Let's see. Chat. Oh, yeah. Invite Facebook friends to chat. I would, I want to chat, guys. I want to chat. Feed. 
invite Facebook friends. I want to share to the public too. Public. Okay, public. Fuck, I forgot to say something. Okay, share with public. With me on the subject of men versus women. Okay, I guess I gotta type it in like a fucking old dinosaur. Do you have know with me? We are a spoiled generation. I'm live right now. Post. Okay. Okay, I invited him. And I'm on a message. Hello. Why is this not doing it? Why? <laughs> Done. Anyway, uh, yeah, on the subject of men versus women, it's like, I, 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 I've been in the dating circuit for about five years now. I've been single for five years. Um, it's a long time. I've had a lot of bad things I've done. I, but I have put my heart out there, you know, ever since my ex-girlfriend or whatever that I'm never going to get over. Apparently I'm never going to get over here, but that's neither here nor there. That ship has sailed and I just have to move on or try to move on because she's moved on and that's, I can't just sit here and torment myself forever. So anyway, um, so I started the dating circuit at any given time. I have, I have multiple partners that I see on a consistent basis and Sometimes I get with these guys, this is just on the subject of men, that, man, <laughs> God, some men just have this fucking ego about them, like, they hung the fucking goddamn moon, like, and I'm sorry, sorry about the GD, but, like, I mean, um, wow, man. Like, they think that, uh, y do you really think that, yeah, I mean, just, they say shit like, oh, you know, I can't do it, or whatever, it's just, like, sometimes they can't hang out, or whatever, and then they treat me like shit, and then expect me to fucking, uh, or don't call me, or don't respond, or whatever, and then when they do get back, they don't say anything, and they expect me to be pissed, right? I'm not. You're not my man. I'm not dating you. We're not even kicking it. It is what it is. It's a 10 night stand, I call them. <laughs> oh, I just made that one up. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I got, uh, I got a sex addiction, man. I mean, we all got addictions. But, uh, yeah, and it's just like, do you, th they talk to me like, do you, and I look at them sometimes like, do you think that do, I, t cause I tell them all I'm sexually active with others. And a lot of the time, I don't think they believe me, but it's true. Like when I say wear the rubber, you wear the rubber, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I'm just talking the shit, but, uh, shooting the shit or whatever. But I mean, do you think, it, I just want to say to him and grab him sometimes, do you think that you're the only motherfucker that I fuck with? That you just grace me with your fucking dick presence right now? Because trust and believe, every motherfucker that I go through, sex is all they want. And I'm not saying that all men are like that. A lot of men are deep and have emotional, they're, they're emotionally in touch with themselves and they can have sex and they're great partners and all that. 
and there are family men. There's some really good men out there, but there's also shit shows. And uh, I'm telling you, in my experience in the past five years since I lost, you know, my ex or whatever, dude, 90% of them, dude, that's all they want. They want to get in, get off, get out. So, you know what? Like, I... And I've said this in in podcasts before, but I'll treat you like an object right back if you treat me like a fucking object. If, if sex is all the only thing that we're doing, then there's no need to stand upon ceremony or talk, for that matter, after the deed is done. Just get the fuck out of my house. And I don't mean to be, but, but you know, you know, I don't mean to be a bitch saying that, but I don't think I am a bitch. Because how many guys have fucking done that to chicks and they're just being men? And it's so fucking overlooked. I don't spend the night with men. Usually they come to me. If I go over to their house after it's done, I'm out. I put my shoes on and fucking go. I know, you know, and it's not know your place kind of shit. It's just, it's just respect and manners. If that's all it is, it's just, just don't be a fucking massager fuck. Which is back to misogyny again and again. I don't know why I'm so passionate on this subject because I've been dealing with it so much from every fucking angle of men. Every man that I come across, fuck, women do this and women do that and women do this and women do that. Well, what the fuck? Who the fuck are you? You know, they hit chicks and, you know, there's this one chick that I, I'm going, you know, she's going through it. She's, she went through some physical abuse recently with, the person, her person, or whatever, the person she was with, and, you know, they try, the perpetrators and shit, and I read this somewhere a couple days ago with one of my besties, you know, the perpetrator or whatever, the abuser, they'll turn it around and make you think that it's all your fault, like, you know, how did you make me, why'd you make me do that, you know, like, I didn't do anything, or they just act like they didn't, they didn't remember what the fuck happened or whatever, yeah, dude, it fucking happened, you know, sex happened. Um, abuse, if you hit her in the face, you hit her in the fucking face. If you beat the shit out of her, you did it. Own it. And men don't want to own their shit. And that's what really pisses me off. And then they like to beat women down and fu- emotionally and fucking, you know, treat them like shit or whatever. You can't treat me like shit because at this point, like... I don't want to be with a man. I'm fucking gay. You know? Um, I'm bi. I'm bi, and I have to say that I'm bi because of the lust thing or what the fuck ever. I honestly have sex or whatever because I have an addiction. If I could railroad that addiction, I wouldn't fuck men at all. Like, they honestly disgust me. The blowjob. The hand job, the ball tingling, the hitting it from behind, the fucking monkey wrench, the fucking, you know, whatever it is, the Asian pork chop or whatever fucking, you know, sex, and I'm not saying sex can't be fun and experimental, but I guess I meant the point in my, in, in my life where I have had every fucking fantasy that I could ever possibly think of. I've been in love. I've had earth shattering sex with the woman that I loved. And nothing, nobody that I'll ever be with is ever going to fucking touch that. So I just consider it being like an addiction and just, I just fucking do what I have to do to get my fucking rocks off and then treat them like shit kind of as a payback to what they fucking do to women, you know? And they're still going to be who they are. It's just... The town where I live in, too, there's just a lot of redneck-ish kind of... Their country is set in their ways. They're racist. At least, like, wait, racist. I'm not racist at all, man. I don't give a fuck about the color. I don't give a fuck about... If you're cool on the inside, you're cool on the inside. But if you're an evil motherfucker, like, I can see auras and shit. And if you're evil as fuck and, and I see a black or gray aura, I'm, get, I'm staying the fuck away from you. Your whore. Like, there's some evil motherfuckers out there, but... Anyway, yes. On the subject of men, yes. For the most part, I find that men, my experience with men sexually, emotionally, is shit. It's bullshit. They are nothing... 
they want to be logical. They think they know fucking everything. They think that women can't do anything. They can't drive. That they're inferior to women. That's at least misogynist men. And to all the men out there that actually take care of their women and or they're single and they really do want somebody to be with and love, kudos to you and keep doing what you're doing. Because there are some great guys out there. I know. I just don't want to fucking find one because I want to be with a woman. I'm gay on the inside. I know it's fucking confusing, but I'm a total lesbian in my heart. I want to spend the rest of my life with the woman. You know, the way men talk to, the way some men talk to women is just disgust me. Like they, some men disgust me. They fucking, 90% of them that I come across, they fucking disgust me. Like, I don't even want to fucking be around them after the shit's done. Like, ugh. Get out of my house now. Now I gotta cleanse my house because your fucking negative fucking note all energy is fucking clouding my shit. Um, let's switch it over to the subject of women because I don't think anybody's gonna come on the podcast because I do podcasts so randomly that nobody knows when I'm doing them live. So I need to start making a consistent, consistent plan, a consistent time per week or however many times per week I want to do them. I should, I gotta do three to five to get my sponsorship, but, um, and to get paid, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's just food for fucking thick thought. Women. Women can be very vindictive. They can be very controlling of men. Now, like I said, this is some women, not all. I'm not stereotyping. Some women, uh, you know, can be extremely sociopathic. They are charming. They know it. They're beautiful. Because trust and believe, pussy runs the world. (laughs) I mean, guys go to strip clubs and pay hundreds, even thousands of dollars I've seen at the high-end strip clubs. To get pussy, or to get, almost get it. Or to get the illusion that they're going to get it. Or just to look at it. Hundreds. It's a billion dollar fucking business hustler is. Larry Flint and shit. You know? Pussy tells all. Pussy runs the world, man. And there are a lot of women that tap into that, and they fucking know that. And I respect hustling women, man. I'm a hustler. I'll always be a fucking hustle at heart, whatever. But I, um, I do it in a, in a manner of respect. Like, I don't use people. I enjoy people's company. I try to keep good company around in terms of friends. And, um, anyway, yeah, women, but there are women, dude, that will chew up men and fucking spit them out. And maybe that's what leads guys to start treating women like shit is because they got fucked over by a girl at some point. And so now hell hath no fury, like they say. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And some women, especially my ex, I don't, if you're out there, I don't know if you listen to these, but you are, you are, you are non. You're a spite. Hell hath no fury like a fucking woman scorned. I don't know everything that went down after our breakup, but I pretty much know that you wanted to destroy me because I destroyed you emotionally. And I didn't do that on purpose. And trust and believe, I just want to throw that out there. Give the message to her, whatever. You destroyed me now at this point as much as I destroyed you. I'm fucking destroyed too. And it's not about the victim thing. It's not about the fucking woe is me. It's that. I say, it took me four fucking years to get over you, bitch. And I'm still not over you. To be, I'll never be over you. And that sucks. Because you're never going to talk about it. We haven't talked about it. We haven't... You don't want to talk about it. You want to act like I don't exist. You want to act like fucking... Uh, you know, like... Uh, that I didn't exist to Cameron. I mean, what the fuck? Like, sometimes I just want to say, fuck you. And I know I'm putting this on public, but I just don't even give a fuck anymore. Like, I'm sick of the goddamn pain. 
every day I think about Melanie. Every day I think about you. And it's just pain in my fucking ass because you just don't want me in your life and you fucking cut me out and you did the you did the one thing that I fucking can't stand. My fucking the one thing that I that tortures me. Like I'm done. I'm done. I'm done letting you have that power over my fucking heart, dude. I cannot take it anymore. I cannot take this shit. And I know I fuck up and I've been fucking up and uh, that's all I've been doing is fucking up. I know. I know I have a lot of shit I need to fix. But that's not even a guarantee that I would ever get you back. So why the fuck, why the fuck do I fix it? Why the fuck should I fix it? You think I'm gonna get any, any better than you? Cause I'm not. You were the best. That was the best time of my life. And, and, and I know you were walking on eggshells and all this shit. But when it was good, bitch, you knew it was really fucking good. Like, uh, like fucking heavenly fucking bliss good. Like, I just don't give a fuck anymore. And anybody who has any fucking input to say about my goddamn relationship, you just keep it to your fucking mouth shut to your fucking self. Because there's a number of people that I've had to block that I've known 15 to 20 fucking years that I know I'm clairvoyant as fuck now. I'm in touch with all my fucking abilities. I hear shit. I hear people's conversations. Sometimes, and I know it's like, oh God, Holly, you're fucking going off the rails right now. You're crazy. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm fucking gifted. Just like a, a fucking shitload of people are. We all have our gifts. You know, I'm an empath. I, I heal a little bit and I hear shit sometimes. And I'm telling you, I know who fucking betrayed me. And I know this was so many years ago and it don't even matter. But you know what? It fucking matters to me because this shit I still live with every fucking day. I can't be heartless or just have no emotion and turn it off like you fucking non. I can't do that. I can't do it. I know you did that. I'm so glad that you're fucking so good at that. That you can just not be affected by me or act like I don't fucking exist any goddamn more. You have no idea what I've been doing. You're not in my life. And I hate it. And yeah, I probably don't deserve to be in your life, but Jesus Christ, even some reconciliation. I ain't even talking about getting back together. At this point, I don't even know if I want to. That's what's so fucked up about it. Is I think about you every day, but I don't even know if I want to be with you after all the shit that you put me through emotionally. Without talking to me and fucking ghosting me for fucking days, weeks, months, years. Not even fucking closing this shit. Closing the goddamn chapter. I can't. I don't have closure. Let's finish this shit and be goddamn done with it. Get that message to her. Because I know that there's got to be one or 15 or whoever out of the maybe five people I don't know that hear these podcasts that get it back to fucking Nani if I talk about fucking Nani because y'all are fucking betrayal pieces of shit. And I'm not talking about everybody. I take that back. I'm just talking about the certain people that have fucking told on me. That have fucking betrayed me. And I'm not on drugs. I'm not fucking high right now. I'm not fucking anything right now. I'm sober as fuck. So don't bring it up that I'm fucking strong. I'm not. I'm sick of people talking shit, dude. I've had enough. Like, I'm about to get off this fucking podcast. Because now I'm pissed. I know it started out with men and women, but there you go. That's my situation with my motherfucking person, my twin flame on this earth. And I have a lot to say about it because I love her. And I love her son. And I love her whole fucking family. And that's just all there is. That's it. And it pisses me off that people just give up on love like that. 
I'll never give up on that. I lied about a ton of shit, but I fucking loved her with every inch of my fucking being. And yeah, sometimes I sometimes I was a bitch, and sometimes and I wasn't on the right meds, and sometimes I I I did do a lot of shit I shouldn't have. But man, I fucking loved her. I fucking loved him. And I know you motherfuckers are like, oh, that was so five years ago. That's just what I heard. I heard somebody say that. Or somebody's going to say that when they hear this podcast. That's so five years ago. See, I wish I didn't hear this shit, but somebody will say it. Hi, Machete. I'm going to sit here and chill with my cat. I'm sorry I went off. I don't think that you're all are pieces of shit. I apologize. Get that message to Nani. I want you to get it to her. Get it to her. She don't give a fuck about me. She don't even care. But I want you to get it to her. I've been silent and I've been patient and I've been fucking waiting enough. There's two sides to every fucking story. Don't you guys ever forget that. And I'm talking about you guys as in the motherfuckers who betrayed me. Brian and fucking a couple other people. I fucking know. I fucking know. Went behind my back and told Nani everything. Maybe not now because it's been so long and she's... She don't care anymore, but... Get it to her. Get it to her. Because I don't care if I talk to her and she's pissed off at me. I don't give a fuck. I just want to talk to her. I want to finish this shit. There has to be closure. We haven't even talked about the breakup. We haven't talked about what went down. We haven't talked about fucking anything. Because she don't trust me yet. And she'll, she'll probably never trust me. But really, bitch? Sometimes you got to. Just reconcile with me and let's be done with it. My heart's been fucking scored open for fucking four goddamn years now. I can't take it anymore, and it's unfair at this fucking point. Give me closure. I, I, I deserve it now. I deserve it. Just think about what I said, Nan. That's a message to my woman. Even though she's not my woman anymore, she'll probably never be my woman. But she was at one point, and in my mind, she'll always be my baby. Because when you find your one person and there's you find the best, there is no, there is no other, there's no other, there's no other, for me. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. Guys, love each other, fuck each other, but don't fuck each other over. Peace.